today. Andy obliterates Intel like I've never seen. AM5 boards are getting this. Your AMD CPUs are getting a free upgrade and Ryzen 8000 APUs will destroy your discrete GPU. Welcome everyone to Gamer Meld. First up for today, we have one of the first reviews of AMD's new Bergamo CPUs. And let's just say Intel's in big trouble. Remember that Bergamo chips are the recently announced server CPUs that get up to 128 cores and are made using AMD's Zen 4 C cores. And 4 Onyx recently put the top end model through its paces. As you can see, when looking at a mean of all of the benchmarks they did, AMD's 128 core Bergamo 9754 completely crushes everything. I'm talking when set to 400 watts, a dual 9754 system gets double the performance of a dual Platinum 8490H, which is Intel's best Xeon Sapphire Rapids part. Not only that, but it gets double the performance while taking way less power. When looking at the average power consumption across all of their benchmarks, the dual 9754, even set to 400 watts, drew just 423.79 watts, while the Xeon Platinum part drew 568.83 watts. I mean, it's not even a comparison at this point. Intel's server business has become a complete joke. Let's just say Bergamo could be AMD's most brilliant CPU yet. And if you're ready to make brilliance yourself, you've got to visit the one and only Brilliant. I mean, it's in the name. And they sponsored today's video so I can tell you all about it. For those who don't know, Brilliant is where I go when I'm ready to learn something new in computer science. Whether it's AI from neural networks, how memory works, programming, and so much more. And I trust them because they were built to teach the STEM field. But really, it's not just what they teach, but how they teach it. Brilliant teaches you with these engaging puzzles that make learning really complex topics fun and easy. And when you visit brilliant.org slash gamermeld right now, you'll get a 30-day free trial. So there's really no reason not to at least give them a try. I love them, and I know you will too. Plus, when you're ready for more and you visit brilliant.org slash gamermeld, you'll get 20% off. Once again, that's brilliant.org slash gamer meld. Next up for today, AMD looks to be readying something pretty big for their next-gen motherboards. In a new report, it looks like AMD's CEO, Lisa Su, has been visiting multiple companies over in Taiwan this week, with one being as media. What's interesting about them is that they're a leader when it comes to implementing USB Type 4, with the USB Association even awarding them certification. For those who don't know, USB Type 4 is very similar to Thunderbolt 4, in that they both have a bandwidth of 40 gigabits per second, used the USB Type-C connector can offer USB power delivery and more. There are some differences between their minimum specs from what I've read, but they're essentially the same. And according to these reports, AMD could be bringing native support for USB Type-4 to their next-gen AM5 motherboards. Think when Ryzen 8000 is released. Basically, AMD could soon have actual parity in I.O. when compared to Intel's boards, something we really haven't seen yet, even with the very expensive X670E boards. Next up, Ryzen 7000 CPUs are about to get a huge upgrade. If you haven't heard yet, AMD recently released a new Agisa update, which is the microcode that's used to make new BIOS for motherboards. And of course, if you like keeping up with all this awesome tech news, make sure you subscribe to GamerMill. Either way, in this new update, AM5 gets a big upgrade that should bring a boost in performance. The update has already been made available to a few motherboards as beta BIOS, and the big thing here is support for way faster memory. Don't forget that the Infinity Fabric interconnect in AMD's CPUs is directly tied to memory speed. And to that, the 1 to 1 memory speed has been updated from 6000 to 6400, which means Ryzen 7000 CPUs should get even faster. But it doesn't stop there. The update actually allows some boards to get all the way up to memory speeds of 8000. And in fact, some people have already been able to get their memory to 8000. Now, this is with a different Infinity Fabric ratio, so it may not be worth it for some workloads, but the fact that it's gotten this high is unreal. Simply put, this is a big update for AM5 boards, and hopefully as more and more BIOS updates are released, we'll get a chance to see what kind of performance difference this brings. 
And lastly for today, I have a couple massive stories on AMD's upcoming Ryzen 8000 APUs, as well as a Halo version that'll flat change everything. I'm talking an APU that will destroy some of the best GPUs out there. Starting things off, a Ryzen 8000 APU, codenamed Strixpoint, was spotted in the Milky Way at home database. As you can see, an engineering sample was tested with Family 26 Model 32 designation, and all information points to a Ryzen 8000 APU. This particular one comes with 12 cores and 24 threads, and these should be Zen 5 cores, though some may even be Zen 5C, but I'll get to that in a second. Unfortunately, we don't have information on the number of compute units, which is the integrated GPU. With that said, in a new video from Red Gaming Tech, he gives us a huge leak on specs. Starting things off, according to the sources, Strixpoint apparently gets up to 8 Zen 5 cores and 4 Zen 5C cores, which is AMD's little cores. Then it gets up to 16 CUs based on RDNA 3.5, and of course that's a very nice jump over the current 12 CUs of the Ryzen 7040 series. Not only that, but according to this, these bad boys get a whopping 3 GHz plus clocks and are set for release in Q3 of next year. But forget about those, because the real story here is AMD's Sarlacc. No, not this Sarlacc, the codename for AMD's upcoming Halo version of Strixpoint that's set to flat out change PC gaming forever. And I can actually confirm from one of my sources that a Halo version of Strixpoint does exist. I wasn't able to get confirmation on the number of CUs, but I may have that soon. With that said, Red Gaming Tech claims that we're looking at up to a whopping 40 CUs of RDNA 3.5. For those who don't get how big of a deal that is, the 7900 XDX has 96 CUs, so this APU has a whopping 40, and it's an updated architecture. To give you an idea, that will flat out decimate the mobile GPU market, and if it's brought to desktop, it would make low to even higher end mid-range GPUs completely obsolete. The RX 7600, for example, only has 32 CUs, so this would crush it. Basically, let's just say this is going to be one game-changing release. NVIDIA needs to be very, very worried. So while that does it for today, are you pumped for this Halo Strixpoint APU? And what do you think it'll do to the market? Let me know down in the comments below. And don't forget to try out Brilliant at brilliant.org slash And as always, have a great day.